Mandatory evacuations are underway in eastern Arizona as the Wallow Fire intensifies. It was a Thursday afternoon. I had a knock on the door, and it was two sheriffs saying that uh, they wanted us to evacuate. Driving out of here, you could see the fire on the mountain, and uh, I was really concerned that 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 was the last time I would see my uh, my place. The Alpine area is evacuated, and people in Greer have been put on notice. Every news coverage that there was, I was glued to it. I, my life stopped. Crews are battling what is now officially the largest wildfire in Arizona history. This tells us just how big this fire's gotten. They showed where the border of the fire had gone and it looked like we had lost our cabin. Kept calling people to hear if our cabin was one of the ones that burned. We're told the flames have now reached the Greer area. I called the fire chief and he said we did everything we could. I mean, they put their lives on the line. We drove up, just sat on the ground and sobbed our hearts out. There was nothing left except a piece of the fireplace. We came back about 10 days after the fire. The town proper was still green and uh, you didn't see a lot of burnt stuff, but all the mountains surrounding the town looked terrible. That was devastating. But my property was fine. I was so happy that it survived. It was an, a wonderful feeling, to say the least. The thing that saved Alpine was the White Mountain stewardship effort to trim a quarter mile swath all the way around the town. I am sure that if that hadn't have been done, there'd have been a devastation like they had in Greer. The White Mountain Stewardship Project was initiated in 2004, and it is a 10-year thinning project to thin trees to protect communities from the catastrophic wildfires that we have been experiencing here in Arizona. Instead of spending the millions of dollars that we spend on suppressing fires like these, what we would like to do is use those resources proactively to thin the forests and then have controlled burns to continue the management of our forests so they can handle natural fire. So we can allow lightning strikes and other natural fires to occur across the landscape. Had they been able to successfully do the thinning around Greer, Greer could have absolutely been spared. I think we were lucky that we survived the fire, but the uh, luck was in the, somebody making the right decisions to uh, put a burn area, a burn proof area all the way around the town. I'm such a believer in thinning the forest to help preserve the forest.